Alan, you alright? Just over the uh, the left shoulder there you can see a, a snow covered ridge and just over that snow covered ridge is Yorkshire Land of the Gods I'm uh, on a freshly opened road heading over to Penrith from Scotch Corner, the A66 when I first got to this junction it was actually closed and I can only imagine it was due to the weather so they've uh, cleared the snow from the carriageway and uh, I'm taking a, a very ginger drive uh, across the uh, across the country to get to the Lake District. Um, planning on just running up any old hill tonight, nothing too spectacular. Just get up, get the Trail Star uh, set up and, uh, and bed down for the evening. And uh, this is the start of uh, three nights under canvas in the Lake District in the snow. So hopefully we'll be all right. We'll come down with all our fingers and toes. No frostbite, please. Bit of snow. Hopefully we're going to find a bit of a, a water supply, um, fill the platypus up and then put the tent up. Right, there's a bit of wind that's sort of uh, hitting the, uh, the back of my neck if I kind of point this way, so I'm thinking about trying to pitch up here now the the snow itself is quite quite deep so the fact that I haven't got a stream I'll just basically melt some uh, melt some snow uh, which will do a bit expensive on fuel but um, I have enough for what I'm doing this evening or more than enough so that's not really an issue um, I'm gonna perhaps wait another maybe half an hour and uh, start putting it up. Now, you can see those black clouds over there. I don't know their intentions. So tonight could be interesting. Can you see the lake? Hi folks. Um, a good little tip from uh, Nigel. Um, the the end that's going to be pointed into the wind of your trail star, attach a peg to it. So the first thing we're going to do is drive that into the ground, then we can literally throw the tarp out into the wind and it ain't going anywhere. You're never going to lose it, as long as that's tied to it. Thinking. Cheers Nigel. Right, so I've got this end is into the wind, so the wind's coming from this direction. And then you peg out those two and leave the rest of it flapping about. Now it's time to get the inner and the pole. Right then. Um it's all set up. Um, uh, the, the sleeping bag's out, it's airing. Uh, tarp's up, it's secure. I'm going to um, spend a couple of minutes making sort of a big pile of snow just here, and then I can just dive in there. Not literally, I'm not going to make a snow angel, but get me, uh, uh, you know, water to be uh, out of the uh, out of the snow pile. Uh, put it on the you know the heat and uh, make some water out of it. And this is Casadel Laidlaw for the evening. Just in case you haven't twigged on yet, I am uh, alone with no one here beside me. All by me, Sam. Nobody wants to hear that, right? Crack on, Laidlaw. Right folks, nanoseconds later, after a bit of uh, labour, not much, you know, but um, it needs to be done. I've padded, or made a little bit of a wall. So you see the, 
the tarp here is not flapping about half as much as it was. There's another wall again. And then I made a little pile of snow, which will become my uh, source of water. So it's time to get a brew on, folks. Right then, I've um, I've had I've had a drink and a half, I suppose. Um, I rewarmed some some food that I brought with me from home, so I've eaten. Um, I need to uh, well get another drink in me, and uh, I've I've also found out that the, uh, the the jet lighter that I've got to light this uh, little transier triangle is uh, is playing up. So if I hadn't have got a backup lighter. Um, which I've got a backup lighter and I've got a fire steel. Um, that could have been the end of sort of defrosting um, snow. So lesson learnt there, you know, have a backup on your backup sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I've got some more water uh, or some more snow becoming water in the background. And that's how cold it is, folks. Do you not think the gas lighter might be a bit cold? Right then, morning folks. Um, didn't sleep too badly, I suppose. Uh, warm enough. Could have been a little bit warmer, but, you know, nothing nothing too serious. No shivering or all like that. A um, couple of lessons learnt. Uh, the, the ingenious snow wall that I've put at the back of the tarp to stop the draft coming through has allowed condensation to form over my head. The condensation has rubbed against the down sleeping bag, so that's now slightly damp on the outside. Not ideal. Um, and secondly, I need to uh, fill up the um, the jet lighter that I've got to light my Trangia. I can't actually get a flame with it for long a long period of time. I can't light the burner. I've got a, a little a Bic lighter. That as well I can't get a flame on. Uh, that might be to do with the temperature of my hands. So uh, I'm dropping camp now. It's just coming up to 7 o'clock, it's still dark. And then I'm going to uh, get back to the car, get that fired up, and um, head down into Keswick. Uh, so yeah, a few, few things to work on for tonight, but um, nobody died, so could be worse. I know I'm repeating myself like uh, Top Gear on Dave, but are you sure that gaslight is not a bit cold? Cool? 